VR technology is evolving in many ways. It's a great opportunity to have it here in Osmino. I think the system is quite intuitive. It works great. So today was my first experience inside here. Actually seeing it used by my peers was really good. So seeing how to put the actual headset on and changing a battery and all those little things. So now I've got like a better understanding and the foundations of being able to use the Lead Me tablet. For the people within this space, I'll be able to set them up and load the different programs. We're getting a lot of new people coming through and a lot of people haven't necessarily had much experience in mining. So I think these types of environments are incredibly valuable. What we're finding is when they first go underground, there's a lot of hand-holding, a lot of extra work that you need to do. So if we can actually create a deeper experience and be able to get retention of key safety aspects, that's going to be a huge savings and benefit. So the money side of it is huge in regards to cost saving in education and really cost effective for the new people coming here instead of going underground. Up here, they'll be able to know what the risks and what the hazards are involved in what they do underground without actually physically putting them in that danger. I think this is going to be a great space for that to happen and I'll be using this at every opportunity. So I think there'd be a real benefit to try and educate people who have never been to a mine site about what it's like and I think VR could really help plug that gap. So to have this in schools or universities when people are making decisions about what they want to study or what they want to do with their careers, to be able to experience what it's like to be underground without actually having to come to the mine site, I think would be really beneficial and potentially help encourage more people to join the mining industry.